Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Uh, will Turkey ever join the EU? I always get confused. I'm like, oh, wait, are they in EU and NATO? Or uh, I always get confused. So no, no, they're in NATO. They are not in the EU. Okay. Um, preemptive like. Uh, the EU made simple. Great channel. Hi, guys. My name's Connor. Did I say this? I like to learn about stuff. The original link to the video is at the top of the description below. Right below that, link to the Discord. Click on it. Send it right over there. Just makes it easier for me to interact with you and see your recommendations and just have fun. So let's go. When we think of Europe, we usually think of the romantic streets of Paris or the bustling cities of Madrid and Rome. But what about Turkey? It may not be the first country that comes to mind, but believe it or not, Turkey has been an EU candidate since 1999. So why haven't they joined? Let's take a look at the main challenges facing Turkey's bid to join the EU. Firstly, is Turkey even in Europe? One of the most obvious questions to ask is like, does Turkey qualify as a European country? If we look at it, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I well, well, you can't say I mean at least you know, three per four, five percent of it is right. Like anything le uh, east west of Istanbul. But um, yeah, I mean they they aren't an Arab country. I learned. Um. I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll Europe. react to that. It sure. doesn't ah, look like Turkey up. is part of as a European country. If we look at a map of Europe, it doesn't look like Turkey is part of the continent. But if we zoom in, we can see a tiny 3% of its landmass is technically in Europe, with the other 97% located in Asia. In a strict sense, the country is European, but it might appear odd that a country whose majority landmass is on another continent can be part of the European Union. Accepting Turkey would mean an EU border with Georgia, Armenia, Iran, Iraq, and Syria, and might also set a precedent for countries whose majority of territory is outside of Europe to join the Union, such as What's Georgia wrong with that? or even Morocco, who already had an EU membership bid rejected in 1987. Hmm. Beyond geography, there are concerns over major cultural differences. In 2009, the Belgian Prime Minister outright rejected Turkey's bid to join the EU. He claimed an Islamic nation would threaten the Christian values of the Union, and that the inclusion of Turkey could be too much of a culture shock for the EU to handle. The next challenge concerns the political situation in Turkey. Um. Oh, I was going to see if Albania is in it. Um. Uh, what was I going to say? I. Uh, yeah. In the aftermath of the 2016 attempted coup, President Erdogan has been accused of authoritarian tendencies, cracking down on the media, limiting freedom of speech, and suppressing political opposition. These actions all go against the liberal and democratic principles that the EU upholds. Erdogan's Aren't those similar um, principles that, that um, NATO countries need to uphold? And Turkey's in NATO policy, liberal and democratic principles that the EU upholds. Erdogan's foreign policy has also caused tensions. Turkey's military intervention in Syria, its involvement in Libya, and Turkey not joining EU sanctions against Russia have raised concerns among EU member states. Not only that, Turkey is the only country in the international community to recognize northern Cyprus. Should Turkey wish to join the EU, it would be expected to resolve the issue of Northern Cyprus through negotiations with the Republic of Cyprus and in accordance with UN resolutions. Finally, the EU is not currently keen on further expansion. There's not much political will, and leaders such as French President Emmanuel Macron are more concerned with integration of current EU members than with enlargement. On top of that, with a Turkish population of 84 million, larger than even Germany's, the number of seats in the EU Parliament could go from 705 to as many as 804, with 96 Turkish MEPs now part of the conversation. This could represent too large a political shift for many EU member states. Ultimately, there are more viable options closer to home and further along in the negotiations should the Union choose to expand, such Iceland, as the countries Norway. of the Western Balkans. We covered the possibility of the Western Balkans joining the EU in a separate video, so check it out.
There are, of course, more challenges that Turkey has faced. What countries are in the Western Balkans? Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia, or Kosovo, North Macedonia, Albania, Montenegro? In a separate video, so check it out. There are, of course, more challenges that Turkey faces in order to join the EU. For instance, the economy, which is suffering from exceptionally high inflation rates. With so many challenges, we believe EU membership is completely off the table for now. Significant reforms would have to take <laughs> Of course, more challenges that Turkey faces in order to join the EU. For instance, the economy, which is suffering from exceptionally high inflation rates. With so many challenges, we believe EU membership is completely off the table for now. Significant reforms would have to take place, most likely with a different Turkish government. And then there's the ultimate question. Does Turkey even want to join, as only 33% see the EU as Turkey's most important partner? Let us know what you think in the comments, and please like the video and subscribe. If you I, w I wonder who they see as their most uh, important ally. I'd imagine it's not Russia. I don't think Germany really... I mean, I don't think Turkey really gets along that well with Russia. Um, certainly, they have a lot of history of... Oh, sorry. Yawn. Excuse you. Me. Um, yeah, my main question for you guys is, if you could answer, or just any comments in general you have, I'd love to see them. Or if I had other questions, I'd love to see you answer those. Is that... Don't all of these, can't all of these uh, examples be made for a case for Turkey not to join NATO as joining the EU? And you might say, well, NATO is a military uh, alliance. This is an economic alliance. Well, I think, I think that's even more of a reason <laughs> because I, I think having an ideological extremely uh, opposed and different values and stuff and one that has, you know, you know, stuff with Syria, wouldn't that be even more damning to join a NATO alliance? Um, but I guess the NATO, the Turkish importance in NATO might be higher than the Turkish importance in, in Europe. But then why not just say that instead of saying this, these are all the interesting video. Uh, love you guys. Love to see your, uh, all your comments, guys. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. All right. We'll keep learning. Bye guys.